Uh, and so, you know, someone like Sam, basically, I, I know Sam, I say this guy and I see his videos. I'm like, oh, these, these are great videos. He's only getting, you know, a couple thousand views, let's say right now. But it, I, it basically what, what this world would let me do is as an early believer, I can bet on Sam. I could say, I like this guy's content. I think this guy's going to blow up and I can kind of vote for his success. I can give him some, so I can buy his coin, which gives him money to like make better content. It gives him a little boost of morale to keep going. Um, but it also lets me go on the ride with him because I think we've all been there before where we discover a band early or a brand early or an influencer early. And then sure, you're, you're, you believe in them and you're so, you're so right. They actually do take off. They never knew you. They never had a real relationship with you. And you didn't benefit from the fact that, you know, Kim Kardashian, if you knew Kim Kardashian back when she was just Paris Hilton's closet organizer uh, and you thought she was great, you missed out on the ride. And, and so this lets your true fans go the on the ride you with you and it turns your fans into sort of shareholders with you. And so. Oh, bro, I study this stuff. You know, uh, Kim Kardashian, where did this come from? I have to know. I must know. And uh, and sure enough, there, there's a story. And so, you know, Sam, let's say I would bet on Sam. Sam would get that cash flow. Sam could use that to make a cooler video. And when Sam makes that video and he gets more followers, um, they have to buy in at a higher price point than I did because now Sam's more established. So my stock is going up. I'm earning instead of just following. Right. I own instead of just following, which is the way the world works today with Twitter and Instagram. You just follow. You don't earn. And then, this, the, you know, furthermore, Sam could say, hey, you know what? How do I make my coin really valuable to hold? What if I kind of only fans it? And I said, I'm going to do some exclusive stuff with only my coin holders who hold over 100 of my coin. So it's up to him to decide if he wants to make his coin more juicy, more, more enticing to hold, which, again, will make my stock go up. If I know Sam's the kind of guy he connects with his fans, he's going to put in the effort that's going to make these coins more valuable. And so it takes this idea that's been around for a long time. The thousand true fans, the thing that any artist knows that they need, those real believers, and it turns them into people who actually benefit from your rise. And so that's what I think, that's the good thing that I think will come of this, aside from, you know, destroying Facebook and all that good stuff. I think the good thing that will come of this, it'll make being a tastemaker and a curator like a job pretty much. You can actually get paid for having good taste, for following, for believing in somebody early on, which is the way that things should be, I think. Yeah, Sean, how are you better at explaining this than me also? I, I, I'm i kind of, uh, <laughs> I'm not offended, but uh, that's awesome. Well, dude, when yeah. I first shouted out BitCloud, well, yeah. I got a dude, lot of shit. And I was like, okay, I got to come up with a reason that I he, like this besides I think this is yeah. going to make a lot of money for me. Uh, so I started thinking about what what is the appeal here? And I yeah. had to kind of defend myself. And in doing so, and I had to come up with the case of our, why does this shit matter and I've got, at all besides I've got a just being of, a gamble? Yeah, that's true. I did. I, I, I remember it. Uh, but yeah, Sean, just to add, which is really interesting, uh, like you said, there's actually never been a way to actually invest in someone when they're small and make money on their rise like in like this easily, this efficiently. Uh, and what's really interesting is there's actually yet another interesting kind of like layer on it, which is once you invest in someone, your bias is to be supportive. Your bias is actually to be, hey, I want this guy to succeed. I want this person yep. to, to, to be something. And you can align in a way that you can't really on like, you know, without that mechanism, like being able to buy into someone, you know, uh, uh, creates kind of an incentive that doesn't exist. And what's crazy is that um, even BitCloud, you know, BitCloud, Diamond, all these apps, uh, they're actually very positive discourse, a lot of it. Um, even though, you know, there's not really any kind of, you know, there's not like, there's less moderation than traditional social media, right? Um, and the reason I think is basically, you're investing in people, right? You're, you're going long. Uh, and, and when you give people the ability to, to like move money around, right, people naturally go long. And when they go long, they actually uh, uh, get aligned and, and want to support you. Um, and so weirdly enough, like, I love like when people say like money is like the root of all evil, you know, like money is bad. And, and I think that's part of why people reacted weirdly to BitCloud because like, oh, money, prices, whatever. But like if you just look past that for two seconds, you'll see that it's actually being used as an alignment tool that's making a lot of positive things happen that haven't happened what, before. What?